<sighs> nervous. Joe's at work. I'm about to do a pregnancy test. I am four or five days late and it is Tuesday, December the 8th. Okay, let's go do it. Okay. Oh, oh. It's been a while since I've done one of these. It's just a cheap midstream one. I'm so nervous. Okay. Probably going to say negative, but probably just late. Oh, the glass has come off. I hope that doesn't affect it. <laughs> oh dear. I've got enough wee. It's also at night, but it says you can do it at any point. Okay. Now I just have to observe. Okay, I think it's, what is it, two lines for pregnant. Could you imagine if I actually was? Oh my goodness. Let's just check. <sighs> Negative would be... Okay, the first line that's come up, I think it means I'm pregnant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's clear as day. I knew it, I knew it. Oh my goodness. Guys, guys, I'm pregnant. I'm like, I don't know what to think or what to do. I'm so excited, but I'm really scared. This is way sooner than we anticipated. But I'm really excited. Oh. I'm, I'm so scared to tell people in case they think it's too soon. So they worked out the baby will be due mid-August. <sighs> a lot of emotions. I'm really scared about the first trimester. I can't, I feel like this is surreal. <gasps> I knew it. This may not be in our timing, but this is in God's timing, which means it's perfect. <sighs> can't believe so this is like the worst place to film, but I'm just in absolute, absolute shock. Also, Sophia is going down. I'm trying to process my emotions. Let me go sit down. Sorry, this is like the worst lighting ever, but I'm just in absolute shock. I'm gonna just talk through my emotions with you, if you'll let me. So, I started to think it when I was late. I knew I wanted a sibling quite close together. I'm just trying to sort the camera out. Sorry, I'm just, this is all over the place. I've still got on hold of the stick. I knew I wanted siblings close together. I was kind of hoping for two years, but then, if I'm honest, a lot of people have been getting pregnant and I've been getting really jealous and I was like I want to start trying like soon like we're gonna start trying next year anyway I'll have two under two my mother-in-law had that I'm pretty sure the eight there'll be 18 months between baby baby new baby <laughs> I don't know what to call it yet baby bean and Sophia I can't believe So yeah, I'm so I'm really excited. So we were talking about it last night, Joe and I. It, what if we we're talking about the pros and cons and things? Not not cons, but you know, like if I'm not, it was more like if I'm not pregnant, what the pros would be. So we're like, if I come on, then you know it's fine. We can just plan it more in our timing. And then we we're talking about the pros. We weren't talking about the cons of being pregnant. We were talking about the pros of being pregnant. 
the pros and pros, the pros of not being pregnant, the pros of being pregnant. And we were like, first of all, it's a summer baby. So for my job, that works out perfectly. I'm gonna get another maternity year because I was robbed of it this year, as, as we all were with the pandemic. So I feel I'll still be young enough to like come to the baby groups. I'm gonna get more time with her. If it's a girl, they're gonna be two like little girls together. They'll be so close. They will be 18 months apart. They'll only be one school year apart, but I suppose there's benefits to that. It's not uncommon. It doesn't matter what other people think, if it's close or not. Like we want, I can't believe that. Guys, I keep seeing it and I'm... I can't believe I'm pregnant again. These are happy tears. I'm so, I'm so shocked, but this could be the most perfect timing, like God works in such crazy ways, like this would be perfect timing, I only have to work from like January to the summer, it's mid-August so I'm a teacher so I'll be able to work right up until the summer holidays, then I'm a four year off again with both my babies, but I'm really scared in case I miscarry, in case because I keep thinking because it wasn't planned what if I miscarry because I get punished or something <sighs> so I'm really scared for that I'm scared for the labour and delivery although I'm not because like if Sophia's I, I feel like I'm more prepared and Sophia's will be as bad as it was but I feel like I'll be more chilled this time I am scared for the first trimester I've been feeling a little bit sick the past couple of days I really don't want to go through that sickness again. I need to change my medication. Um, I need, I'll need to ring the midwives. At least I'll get now until I go back to work to kind of keep it a secret. So I'm not going to tell you, like, this is going to be way in the future that I show you this. I don't know when. I think we're going to, I might keep this one a bit of a secret. We wanted our big family wanted to have babies <laughs> baby number two goodness i'm so excited so if you'll be the best big sister you know what's weird well here's some things that weird rosie has been super super clingy to me the past few days like super clingy and she was last time when i was pregnant i think she can like sense the hormones so one of the other reasons i knew is because Last time when I was pregnant, well I got tingly boob last time but I've not had that this time, only like once in the night but last time I didn't have any period symptoms, like I, I always have the same symptoms and it's been regular since I've started having periods again after Sophia it's been regular, I didn't have any period symptoms, the only thing I've had is a little bit of cramping, um, yeah so sorry my mind is like all over the place, so I, yeah, I didn't have any period symptoms this time again. Like, I didn't feel like I was about to come on. I always feel like I'm about to come on. Like, I usually have a day of feeling really emotional. I feel like a bit, just a bit periody. And then the next day I'll come on. You know what I mean? I'm so excited to go through it all again. I'm even excited for the pregnancy. And I didn't like being pregnant last time. Because now I know what to expect. And I've got Sophia. So I'm not going to be, like, waiting. I will be waiting. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, the first one, you're like, I just want a baby. I just want to be a mum. Now I've got Sophia to, like, distract me. She's been kicking a lot, though. So I'll have to be careful about that. I can feel the, like, not the pains, but the... I knew I, knew I had a little baby in there. I've got a baby in my tummy. So the other thing that's weird is that Sophia's been super affectionate with her doll. Like, I think it's just her age, to be honest. I don't think it's linked with me being pregnant. But she's so cuddly. She keeps cuddling the doll and kissing the, her doll. And I'm getting her a push chair. Like, how exciting is it going to be for Sophia to see a baby? See, now my brain's like, I'm going to need a double push chair. Like, we can't afford that. I can do this. Like, I've had my maternity. I can be pregnant at work again. Goodness, they're going to think I'm always pregnant. Well, I want... Two more after this little bean. So flipping excited. I keep thinking it's like a fake test. I'm gonna to do one tomorrow morning as well, but that is that is clear as day. Look at that. How strong is that line? Your girl got some good hormones. Right, I'm gonna show Joe I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do him a Christmas card, I'm gonna put this inside. So I can't stop smiling. Do you know what's crazy as well? 
One of my best friends told me that she was pregnant a couple of days ago. And she's due like end of July, beginning of August. She was like gonna be two weeks apart. It's gonna be amazing to go through pregnancy with a friend. Like I went through pregnancy with my sister-in-laws and then now I'm going through pregnancy. I'm gonna go with a friend. God, it's just that God of ours, eh? What a joker, what a legend is our God. Our God is a good, good, great God. And Joey's just Mr. Chill like his whatever. And we're moving to our big four bedroom detached house. I say big like, it's big for us. This is, this is perfect guys, perfect. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna be so much more chilled out this time. I'm like an experienced mum. Anyway, I need to write this card. I'm just so excited. Okay, I'm gonna put, put this in the card. That's the card she made the other day. We can keep this forever. Right in the front, Daddy. He's gonna be like, what is that in there? Right, I need to hide. I need to hide these sticks. I'm gonna do them tomorrow as well. I have got three left. I'm gonna do them every day, just to check. That's what I did before. I did like one every day for a week. But I did it early last time like on the day of my first period and the line was a lot fainter fainter can't even talk holy moly he's on his way home so i'm gonna set you up i'm gonna make out that it's not on so I'm, gonna... Right, I'm gonna set you up there sophia's just woke up i'm gonna leave you running i hope i have enough right i'm gonna leave you running i'm just gonna go get sophia and jay's on his way home I think you'll be able to see the camera's running, but never mind. Try and do it quickly. <laughs> She's waiting for you. How's your day? Amazing. Oh. Is it Daddy? He made you a card, Daddy. Oh, I'm doing it. Are you doing it, Mario? Every single day 